Some time ago, I got a question how Grasshopper can be applied for a beam coordinator work. In today's presentation and video, I will show you how beam coordinator can use Clash component in his daily duties. In the last release of Rhinosaur 7, there is a one component in Grasshopper called Clash. I really like this component because compared to others, it's really fast. If you, if you see the inputs, there is a just need for first set and second step set. It's just the two inputs where you want to check uh, your clashes. And it doesn't matter. It can be point, a curve, it can be B-wrap or mesh. Another inputs are distance and result limits. And afterwards, when you detect uh, clashes, you can see with the panel how many are clashes are detected. Okay, this is just theory. Let's go to an example. Okay, so we have now two models. First model is a model of a concrete portals. It's a mesh uh, imported in the 3D DVG into Rhino. And the second one is a parametric design B-wraps of electric lightning posts. After use uh, connecting these two uh, elements, one mesh and one B-wrap, we can find the points where the clashes are detected. And with the red, red sphere, we can see that two clashes are detected. Okay, when we change the distance between the lightning post to from eight to two meters, we can see that there is more clashes. And now program will sell you and send a warning that there is a four clashes detected. So it, as you can see, this is a perfect tool for a beam coordinator who has a tons of uh, models uh, re needs to be checked for the clashes. And not only beam coordinator can use this component, for example, all designers who want to design his, for example, lightning posts without any collisions. So we can adjust the distance between or the start of lightning posts. So it will be zero clashes detected. As you can see, this video is a full confirmation of how Grasshopper can be applied for all, absolute all disciplines in our industry.